Andhra Pradesh is home for centuries to a diversity of traditional handicrafts, practiced in the main by devoted rural artisans with dexterity and expertise, transmitted from father to son through the ages in a delectable blend of aesthetics and utility, satisfying an international demand, a breath of fresh air in a humdrum age of mass production. Kondapalli, an ancient picturesque hill fort 19 kilometers north of Vijayawada, Kondapalli is famed worldwide for its exquisite toys of very expressive facial gestures, whose fabrication out of a special light wood of local origin called ponuku is the principal means of livelihood of the working class. The motifs of the toys are fetched from legends and the several occupations of rural life. Nirmal. The beautiful toys of Nirmal, 75 kilometers from Nizamabad, traditionally made out of burubu, a variety of white wood plentifully available in the surrounding forests, command a wide market extending overseas. They come out as articles of utility and decoration. The craftsmen of Nirmal, known as Nakash, once specialized in painting scenes in native colors made out of minerals, gum and herbs. Tiruchanur, on the northern bank of river Suvarnamukhi, three miles off Timpati, is renowned for its wooden toys of red sanders in a tasteful blend of carving and painting of mythological, human or animal figures in stylized forms much favored in the USA, Canada and other countries overseas. Etikopaka in the Vishakhapatnam district is notable for its lacquer craft. The lacquer is applied on wood by a lathe in a dry state in pleasing colors and the designs are painted with a brush on the objects to be lacquered. Models of railway engines, gramophones, and cooking vessels. This handicraft was initiated in Etikopaka two centuries ago by three persons, Tatanna, Naganna, and Nallaya of the Vishwa Brahmin sect. Tie and dye. The famous technique of dyeing the required parts of a cotton fabric and protecting the remaining portions with cotton yarn is a speciality of Pochampalli in the Nalgonda district, also shared by Mangalagiri in the Guntur district. Kalamkari. The craft of Kalamkari of painted and printed fabrics put to decorative and ceremonial uses derives its name from kalam or pen with which the designs are delineated. Their usage is as old as Harappa from the discovery of a resist dyed piece of fabric at that ancient site. The occupation had its roots in the traditional mural paintings of yore depicting the legends of the gods in Kalamkari and the poets recited verses from the legends with illustrations from the Kalamkari paintings. In Sri Kalahasti, the art of Kalamkari throve under the patronage of the temples in satisfaction of their demands for hangings with pictorial representations of mythological themes. In Andhra Pradesh, block printed Kalamkari and other cloth come from Machali Patnam, Chirala in the Guntur district, Vijayawada, and Thuni in the East Godavari district. Archaeological discoveries in 1938 of printed cottons at Fotsat near Cairo 
have established their provenance to India, arguing a tradition of block printed and resist dyed fabrics in its western shores. Bidri wear. Bidri, the art of inlaying silver or gold on steel or copper, originating in Iran seven centuries ago, was brought to India by migrants proximately to Hyderabad. The art is owed to the Bahmani dynasty and is expressive of the collective aspirations and aesthetics of the Sufis and the Mughals and the valor of the warriors to decorate their weapons. Today, the repertoire of the art contemporaneously consists of goblets, candlesticks, cigarette boxes, fruit bowls, cufflinks and name plates. Pidri involves five successive quick processes casting, polishing, engraving, inlaying and blackening with earthen liquid containing copper sulphate. Saris. Sari, anglicized so dia in Prakrit, derives from the Sanskrit sati, meaning a strip of cloth referred to in the Mahabharata and therefore an already cultivated art. Notable centers of saris in Andhra Pradesh are Venkatagiri, of pleasing colors with gold dots, coins, leaves, parrots, or simple geometrical patterns. Narayan pet of the style of Irkal in the state of Karnataka of dark, earthy colors with a unique pallo of alternating red and white bands and an expansive border of deep maroon or chocolate divided by white or colored lines. Garwal and Siddipet and Armur with rich patterns. Thanks to the proliferation of temples in Kakatiya times and the need to adorn the Vigrahas, images, and the Vahanas, chariots, sheet metal workmanship took first place. Pemberti, a village in the Warangal district, burgeoned as a sheet metal center par excellence in ministering to ceremonial needs. But with the fall of the Kakatiyas and the successive waves of Muslim influence, the craft of Pembarti by secular characteristics issuing in articles of domestic utility. Folk paintings. Cherial in the Warangal district is the traditional center of wall hangings and scroll paintings put to use by itinerant bards who went about reciting verses of episodes from religious texts, illustrating them with the scrolls.
filigree. The silversmiths of Karimnagar are notable for the crafting of filigree in which thin strips of silver are crimped into zigzag designs and loops and the strips are then soldered forming the filigree pattern. This craft was introduced 150 years ago by Kadar Laramaya of Yeldangal in the Karimnagar district. Bronze casting. Masterpieces were created from bronze in ancient India, seeking guidance from the Silpa Sastra for modeling the icons as to physical measurements, proportions, the characteristics of the deity and the symbolism. The eyebrows were modeled after the neem leaf or fish, the nose after the sesame flower, the upper lip from a bow, the chin after a mango stone, the neck from a conch shell. Ikkat, the technique by which the warp or weft or both can be tie-dyed so that when woven, the planned design comes out in the finished fabric has been known long to textile printers and painters in Andhra Pradesh at Chirala, importantly, Pochampalli, Puttapaka and Koyalagudam. Crochet lace started in the middle of the 19th century as highly appreciated gifts sent out to friends and relations abroad. Beginning with a mere dozen patterns, the ingenuity of thousands of craftswomen working part-time at their homes in Parakkollu and Narsapur in the West Godavari district and Razol in the East Godavari district, evolving as many as 300 designs over the years. Leather puppets, which form the mainstays of shadow puppetry or Bommalata in Andhra Pradesh, datable the 16th century to the rulers of Vijayanagara, are made by members of the Are Maratha family in Nimmalakunta of the Anantapur district. Panjara Embroidery and gypsies roaming without fetters, the Banjaras in Andhra Pradesh, aggregating in groups or tandas, still preserve their fascinating ancestral traditions in their exuberant clothing of mirror work, ivory bangles weighing down their hands. <laughs> 